Hi friends and welcome to English Fluency Lab where I help you improve your English language skills. Friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about phrases for online meetings. Now, as all of you know that after 2020, having meetings through Zoom, Microsoft Teams and Google Meet have become the order of the day. But communicating online can be very different to communicating offline. And that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this particular video. So let's get started. Now, whenever you start a meeting, you always start with some small talk. Now, let us say, for example, that you are the host for the meeting and you have logged in and nobody and, and nobody has joined till now. Then one participant joins and he or she has joined before time. Now, you need to have some conversation with him or her, right? So you need to have some small talk with him or her. So what are some of the phrases you can use for small talk with someone who's joined early or if he or she is the only person who's joined the call? Let's start. How's everything in Bangalore? What's keeping you busy these days? Do you have any interesting projects coming up? Have you been following the IPL? So friends, these are examples of some small talk which you can have with a person who may be the only person or just a couple of persons have joined for the meeting and while you're waiting for the others. Now, there can be many examples of small talk and I've just kind of taken three or four examples out here. You can talk about the weather, you can talk about elections, you can talk about current topics. There can be many examples. Okay, so that's uh, those are three or four examples of small talk. Now, once everybody has joined in and the meeting has to start. Now, what are some of the phrases you can do to start the meeting? Let's understand that. Okay, we will give it another meet another minute for the others to join. All right, looks like we have a full house. It looks like everybody's here, so let's kick off. Shall we begin? It's 2 p.m. So let's get started, right? So if you're the host for the meeting, you have to announce that everybody is here and you are now going to start the meeting. So these are some of the phrases you can use to start the meeting. Let's move forward. Now, as the meeting progresses, there could be a few instances where you want to interrupt people or people are interrupting you and you want to make a point. So I've divided interrupting into two or three sections. Let's understand first what happens when you interrupt people and you want to apologize? My apologies for interrupting. Go ahead, Mira. Okay, so you have interrupted not knowing that Mira is not yet complete. So you're saying my apologies for interrupting. Go ahead, Mira. Go ahead, Mira. I thought you had finished. Right? So you have Mira speaking in the meeting and you have interrupted without knowing that Mira is finished. So you are apologizing to her. So these are the two phrases you can use. The second scenario in interrupting is when you want to interrupt others. Let's understand the phrases. Deepak, if I may, now you want to make a point, you want to interrupt Deepak and you say, Deepak, if I may, then you go ahead and say your point. Deepak, if I may add something out here. Deepak, if I may add something that the data is not yet complete. So after may, you go ahead and complete your point. Kevin, can I jump in here for a second? So here you're trying to, Kevin is saying something and you want to interrupt because you want to make a point there. So Kevin, can I jump in here for a second? Sorry to interrupt, but you go ahead and make your you go ahead and make your point. Sorry to interrupt, but the data is not correct, right? So these are the three phrases you can use when you want to interrupt someone and make a point. Now let's move on and find out that when you are interrupted, when you are speaking and somebody interrupts you in between and you want to kind of stop them politely and want to complete your point, what are some of the things you can say? Just let me finish my point here. I'm not quite finished. Can I please complete? So these are the two statements you can say when somebody interrupts you, but you still want to go ahead and complete your point, right? You have to be assertive in these two statements, but you can't sound rude. Okay. So that's the rule when you kind of, when you want to kind of make a point and complete your point. Okay. So those are the two phrases when you are interrupted and you want to go ahead and complete your point. Let's move on. Taking a pause. Now, Many times what happens is that you take a pause because you have to share your screen, you are looking for a file, or you are facing some technical challenges. Now, what are some of the phrases you can use if you have to take a pause? I'm going to share my screen now. Bear with me while I pull up the document. Give me a second. I'm going to check my Wi-Fi connection. Give me a minute. I need to close the window. We have some disturbance. So there can be other examples also out here, but if you want to take a pause for something, these are some of the phrases you can use. Let's move on. Audio and video issues. Now friends, what is an online meeting without any audio and video issues? 
So let's understand what are some of the phrases you can use for audio and video issues. Apologies, I'm having some technical difficulties. There seems to be a problem with the connection at my end. The screen is frozen. Praveen, you're frozen. Now what exactly do you mean by the word frozen out here? Now when you use the word frozen out here, it has got nothing to do with a refrigerator. It means that the screen is stuck and it is not moving. So that is how you use the word frozen conference calls or online meetings. The screen is frozen or you are frozen. Let's continue with audio and video issues. I didn't catch that. Now you can say that if somebody is trying to make a point and you did not understand that. Maybe the person was speaking too fast or his voice was breaking up, his voice was cracking up and you didn't understand it. So I didn't catch that means I didn't understand that. Can you say that again, please? If you want someone to repeat something, can you say that again, please? Or you can say, can you repeat that again, please? Can you speak up a little? Now, when you say that, can you speak up a little? You're asking somebody to speak a little louder, right? Maybe the person is very soft spoken and you're not able to hear him. Okay, so can you, you can say, can you speak up a little? We can't hear you. Can you come closer to the microphone? So again, this is related to point number three where the person is very soft spoken or you're not able to hear because he's you know sitting away from the microphone so you can say we can't hear you can you come closer to the microphone excuse the background noise you're on mute sorry i was on mute you are breaking up now what do you mean by breaking up breaking up means that the voice is coming the voice is cracking up right it is coming intermittently all right let's move on to the next one now what happens is that there are times when a person gets disconnected from a call. Now this could happen maybe because he's pressed the wrong option or because there are some technical challenges, his internet connection, his or her internet connection is not proper and sir, or, you know, some, somebody drops off and then kind of joins later. So what do you say in such cases? Did we lose Mohan? Now when we say we lose, did we lose Mohan? It means that Mohan dropped off from the call. Maybe there's a technical problem or maybe he's pressed a wrong option and he's no longer the call. Maybe he'll connect back. So did we lose Mohan? Are you there, Deepam? So you're not sure whether Deepam is there on the call or whether he got disconnected. So you're just confirming. Are you there, Deepam? Mohan is back. Mohan, welcome back. So in the first instance, we lost Mohan and now Mohan is back. So you could say Mohan is back. Mohan, welcome back. Yes, we can hear you now. So if somebody is confirming that, am I audible? You can say, yes, we can hear you now. Right. So those are the phrases you can use for lost connection. Let's move on. Now, there could be times that you are a participant in a call and you want to leave early because you have to attend some other call or you have some other engagements. Now, obviously, if you're the host for the call, you can't leave early. You have to be the last person to leave. But if you're a participant in a call, you can leave early, but you can use some polite phrases. What are they? Sorry, I have a hard stop at 2 p.m. I need to go. A hard stop means you necessarily need to stop at 2 p.m. because you have another important engagement. So you can say, sorry, I have a hard stop at 2 p.m. I need to go. Sorry, guys, I got a jump. Now, got a is a combination of two words, got and to. Okay, sorry, guys, I got a jump. Now, that's a little informal, right? Sorry, guys, I have to drop. Again, informal, but you are politely informing that you have some other, you know, other commitment and you want to leave the call. So these are the three phrases you can use if you want to leave the call early. And finally, friends, as a host, you need to sign off. The call is over. Everything has been discussed and you want to sign off now and you want to thank everybody for joining the call. What are some of the phrases you can use out here? Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for your time today. Have a nice weekend. Thanks all. Have a good one. Cheers. Now, this is a little informal. Now, there can be many other ways of saying goodbye, but I've just chosen four or five things out here. And this is how a host needs to sign up from the call and thank everybody for their time. So, friends, friends, that's the end of the video. If you have found video, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, please do press the bell because I keep coming up with videos like these to help you improve your English language and communication skills. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.